Hey guys, thank you for joining me where it's an absolutely beautiful autumn day here in the forest. The Condor Kephart is an outstanding knife, guys. I purchased mine about two years ago, and I haven't done a video on it in about one year. So I figured that it's a great time to bring it back out and do a little refresher on the Condor Kephart knife. I really like traditional style blades, guys. I like the wooden handles. I like the classic Kephart design. That's one of the reasons I like the Condor Bush Lore so much. It's just that classic feel and classic look, very aesthetically pleasing. This Condor Kephart is no exception. It's actually more of a classic knife, I think, than the Bush Lore. The Condor Kephart has a blade that's about four and a half inches, nine inches overall, full tang, about an eighth of an inch thick, full flat grind, hardwood handles. When it comes to purchasing your Condor knives, guys, I highly recommend that you go through the Baryonyx Knife Company. Benjamin at the Baryonyx Knife Company inspects all of his tools and makes sure they're in tip-top shape before they go out the door. That way, you won't be a victim to some of the quality control issues that I've read about Condor knives. I have three of them. I've purchased all three Condor knives through Benjamin. You can also get a, a sharpening service that he offers for a couple of bucks. That way, your knives are going to come razor sharp. The Condor knives come with relatively sharp spines, but I like them a lot sharper than they come, so I always take my file to them just to make them that much sharper. Score underneath of that hook. We just simply clean this up from here. And there's our pot hook. Never need our tent pegs to be razor sharp like a spear or like an arrow at the end. Because these are ultimately going to get pounded into the ground. And you don't want this breaking off on you. Now all we're doing is just rounding off the other end. Simply make sure that that doesn't mushroom out on you when you're pounding on it. There's our little seven notch. So we got a pot hook. We got a tent stake. It's a full tang knife, guys, so it's gonna baton for you. This thing just chews right through wood. All we're doing now is just getting down as small as we can. Still only working with our one stick here. What we want to do now is just take that one stick and get it down as far as we can. Get as thin of pieces as we can here. Okay, the next piece of our stick we have here, still working on the same one stick. We're gonna go with feather sticks. So 
So with our one stick, we have a platform here that we're gonna use. Then we're gonna use a brace. We did our carving. We have some feathers and shavings in this little leaf here. And we have our feather sticks right on here. Then we have our smaller stuff. Then we have a little bit bigger. So all of that in combination should do us just fine for a little one stick fire here. So that is our one stick fire with the Condor Kephart. I hope you guys enjoyed our little revisit with the Condor Kephart knife as much as I did. I always enjoy using this knife. It's a tremendous value and I recommend it highly. Should you have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comments down below. It was great to see everyone and we will talk to you again down the road guys. Thanks, bye bye.